if you throw out a boomerang, what tends to happen when you throw it out in the air? It comes back. Well, I'm real, I wanna use this analogy to give you a really good idea about what might not be working for you right now. So when you're working with other people, you and I know that sometimes we feel that somebody's pushing our buttons or that somebody's difficult or that we're gonna have a hard conversation with somebody and everything around it, especially also conflict, all comes back to the same exact thing. When you start off going into a conversation with the notion in your head that it's gonna be difficult, that the people are difficult people, they're hard, it's gonna be a difficult conversation or anything like it. You basically pre-programmed your head on a negative that then automatically you create. You basically kind of setting the GPS system to reach the destination, which you and I know when it's set negatively will create a negative outcome. And the same also applies when you're a leader working with staff. If you think negatively about those staff, guess what? Those staff will perform negatively back. If you're thinking that a particular person is not likable and you call them a certain name in business, the deal or the business, the sale ain't gonna happen because you threw out the negative boomerang and you got negatives back. My point of the story is everything starts with you. You start on a positive, you'll get positive back. You start on a negative, you'll get negativity back. And it's, it cannot be any different way, guys. This is what they call the law of reciprocity. What you start off, will come back. If you've initially in yourself feel challenged by something, that is going to manifest itself on the outside. As it is inside, it will manifest itself on the outside. So if you're feeling aggravated, frustrated, and negative about someone or something, automatically it will splash back in your face like a boomerang would hit you. So the point is, everything starts with you. You wanna get more good stuff? Make sure that you set yourself up for success. If you wanna help people or you wanna do more business with people, make sure that you start off on the, in the right way. If you wanna create goodwill and trust and rapport, or you wanna have staff do more for you, you start off the process first. It cannot be any other way. So please guys, rather than being reactive, and start pointing fingers at people and circles outside of you, use the finger to kind of say, let me bring it back to me. If I'm not happy what's on the outside, let me go back to the drawing board and start with the source, which is me. You control what you do, guys, that's my point. You can learn to think in a certain way and you can act in a certain way and you can choose. So, time to be proactive again, rather than being reactive. Finger pointing, gossiping, blaming other people, or cursing people, and being disappointed with people, and all of that, it's all victim mindset. Let me just be clear about it. It's a victim mindset, and no one else subscribed to it but you. Equally, if you basically are subscribing to a, a growth mindset, proactivity, and where you always look to be the agent and the source and the root cause, which is basically the the, the law of cause and effect. You understand that you're the cause and that the effect is in direct proportion to the cause, the way that you started it off, like the boomerang. So throw out a great boomerang outside, guys. It'll make a difference in your business and your life. Any thoughts or questions, please post them below. Thanks for watching.